This is my circular saw. I've used it for the last 10 years. And this is the cord to it. As you can see, it's in really bad shape. So I'm gonna replace it. And today I'm gonna to show you how long it takes to do that and the necessary steps. If I were replacing a Milwaukee tool, this older one right here, the cord is really easy. All I have to do is unplug it like that, get a new cord, take it out of the package, line it up, twist it, and you're done. And that'd be the end of the video. This would be like my shortest video ever, like less than a minute and a half. This is a DeWalt circular saw, and I'm gonna have to actually take the handle apart and hardwire it in. So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna just explain some of the things that I have, and then I'm gonna start my stopwatch and we'll see how long it takes. Okay, so this is the cable that I found. I was looking for something that's a two-prong, like this right here. So the uh, thickest cable I could find in a two-prong is a 16-gauge. It's actually an extension cord, so I'm gonna cut it down. This one's a little bit thicker. Husky makes a two-prong tool cord, and I think that's even like an 18-gauge, so it's even thinner. They make a three-prong one, but that's the same as this 16-gauge, so I figured I would just go with the two-prong. I found this at a different store. And I'll just match up the same length. So the tools I'm gonna use, I have this T20 Torx bit right here. And I noticed, this is a little bit frustrating, I noticed some cracks in the plastic right here. There and there, and then on the switch, there's that uh, on the trigger. I may pull that back and super glue that into place. It's not affecting the way the trigger works, but I'd like to just get that cleaned up a little bit. So that'll take me a few extra moments. So I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five, six screws, taking that plate off, and then putting, taking the sleeve off right here, cutting this cord down. I think, yeah, you know, if I can do it in 25 minutes, I'd be pretty happy. So before I get started, all right, I'm gonna give you a sneak preview of another tool I'm gonna be reviewing soon. This is the DeWalt battery powered 60 volt flexible saw. All right, so when you start upgrading your tools, will you keep your electric ones or just go straight to battery? Put your comment down below, please. I'd like to hear your answer and your reasons. All right, back to the task at hand. I'm gonna start the timer. Ready, go. Okay, I do have this impact, but I'm gonna just start out by gradually loosening these and just kind of get a feel for it. Okay. All right, so I can probably order this piece right here, but I'm gonna super glue that. Probably just put a little bit of super glue in there to reinforce that crack right there. Hmm. A little spider web in there. Okay. That is a smaller size. Let me grab that. All right, let's swing that out of the way. Lift this up. So I put some Gorilla Tape. This stuff is really tough. This is the sleeve, yeah, right there. So it looks like it's just a matter of these two wing nuts. This might be easier than I thought. All right, so check this out. Looks like you just pull this through there, save this. That'll keep it from cracking right there where it comes out of the saw. As you can see, it just has all these splits. It's cracking all over the place. Really bad condition. Appears that the original power cord is about eight foot long. So I'm just gonna duplicate it with this one right here. Just match them up side by side. Make sure I'm not cutting the wrong end off. So this is the female end. 
okay and then just keep in mind like the length that the two are to about here and go back just a little bit more I'm going to strip this insulation off right here. Just want to make sure I'm not going to cut into it. So I'm being very careful just to slowly cut into it. Pull that off. The black and the white. Put this through the sleeve. So yeah, there's going to be a little gap there, but I can live with that. So it looks like I just clamped that down on there then pull the white over to here and the black over to there. Just going to hand tighten it at first. Wrench it down a little bit, not too hard where you're going to strip anything or cause any other damage. There, nice and tight. Then it's just a matter of connecting the blacks together, twisting them, wire nut, okay, that's nice and solid. And the whites, wrapping these around together. It's amazing, it's really not very dusty inside here. I did see some other people showing how the handle was filled with sawdust. So I'm going to dab a little bit of super glue on here on the inside and the outside and let it just set up for a little bit and then I'll screw this back on. So, so I'm going to put some Loctite super glue professional liquid. All right, let's do this on the inside here. All right, then we're going to just let this dry outside here with a nice little breeze for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to put it back on. I'm going to wait a little while before I grab it. Sometimes it takes, I think, an hour or so before it's thoroughly dry to the touch. So I'm ready to put this back on. One thing I noticed, the uh, switch just seems to stay in place really nice. I like that. I had another brand that I replaced the cord on. It just seemed like everything kind of fell apart and you had to piece it all together and then hope when you put the cover on that it's going to stay in place and sometimes it shifts. But this looks like it's going to work out really well. Right, famous last words. Okay, there's really only two long ones which is this one's a long one and this far one down here the rest I'm just going to put them in the same order Not th these are all the same so it doesn't really matter but just how I like to do things and I'm just going to go through and hand tighten them this is really going together nice all right, let me grab a cord. All right, <laughs> awesome. Okay, ready. It's plugged in. We have power to here, I know, and I haven't tested this out until right now. So ready, three, two, one. All right, that is awesome. This really went a lot easier than I thought. It's just a matter on this particular saw, just hooking up your black and your white together. And if I had to do it over, I bet I could do it like in five minutes, especially if I didn't have to super glue anything, it would be just a breeze. So when you go to replace this, you just need a Torx bit, a T15 and a T20. And then just some things to do some basic electrical cutting. So, all right, that's it. I hope you find this video interesting and informative. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video and you find it helpful, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right, so please click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. And if you want to see what I'm up to throughout the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends, enjoy.